Hello again, this is Borg Dude on Closure. Um, so today I want to show you a little script that I made in Babeshka to leverage CLJ Condo to find, find VARs in your project. Um, before I go into the script, I just want to quickly mention uh, that you can sponsor me on GitHub if you are using Babeshka or Sailed Jacondo or Sai or any other projects, maybe consider sponsoring. Um, this will help continue work on the project. Okay. Um, and also, if you are sponsoring, there are a few additional perks. But the main reason for sponsoring is just allowing me to work on these projects. Okay, let's go into the script. So um, I made a little script uh, that you can run with Babeshka. And what you can do with this script is find a var in a project uh, using a fully quali qualified symbol. And then the path in which the script should search for the var. Uh, so I have this script on my path uh, so I can maybe try it out in a terminal okay so let's go to maybe CLG condo itself um, yeah so let's go to the master branch this was just a experiment that I will delete okay so find var yeah that that's on the path and let's find a var maybe um, let's see what is a common var maybe juxt close your core juxt it's not that common so the list won't be that long but it's maybe fun to find it if, if I have used it at all in this project right so let's see yeah okay so it's, it's used in two places. Um, and uh, so in analyzer namespace and in core and my uh, iterm2 shell supports links. So if you print this in a certain format and you press command and you hover over the link, then it will open this uh, in the right location. So, you, so somehow it, it opens uh, VS code that's fine uh, so here you see it jumps to the right location okay um, so how does this script work okay so what this script does it it um, uses the Babeshka pods namespace and a Babeshka pod is basically a CLI to which Babeshka can uh, shell out. But it's not really shelling out, but it's similar because this a pod is loaded uh, more or less like a server that's running on the background. So it's loaded only once, even if, if you use it multiple times. So that's what happens if you execute load pod so here we load the pod borg dude sale de condo and a version um, and if you don't have this pod on your system then babeshka will automatically download it from the pod registry so what is the pod registry it is a git repository that has um, most available pods registered under a certain name and a version so CLG Condo itself is registered here. Um, and you can also browse the manifests. So it has a little uh, Eden file uh, that explains where to fetch the binary. Okay, so this is what happens when you invoke load pod. Uh, so it goes to the registry if you haven't already got this locally and then it will download CLD condo for you in a directory. Uh, so this directory is um, 
pods, repository, work do CLG condo. So here it is now. So if you call load pod, it will download it to this location and it will execute it. So this is just the ordinary CLG condo binary, but this binary also supports uh, invoking it as a pod. So a pod is just another uh, binary that can serve information to Babeshka. So when you call this load pod, then uh, it will make available certain namespaces. And by convention, a pod namespace starts with pod. So you can see it's not an ordinary namespace that is loaded from source, but that, that is defined by the pod. So the namespace pod and then some organization namespace and then uh, the, the, the namespace of what you want to use. So I'm loading that here as CLG condo. And so what we are doing now is we can invoke CLG condo from the Babeshka script. Um, and so the pod exposes uh, uh, the run function that is also available when you use CLG condo as a JVM uh, library. So then it's called CLG condo .core slash run, but now it's coming from pod Borgbuild CLG condo. That's basically the only difference. Um, and now uh, we are invoking CLG condo with the analysis output. And the analysis output lists all the var definitions and usages. So that's basically what we are using here. Um, so you can see what is available in this analysis by going to CLG condo. And then in, in the repo, you have analysis and then readme. So here you have a description what it, what uh, is available when you enable this analysis output. So there is a lot, uh, but for now we are interested in in this data and especially um, the file name row and the column because that's what we are going to print in this script. So. This is the namespace we wanted to find, and this is the name we wanted to find that's coming from our command line argument here. And so we're just walking through the list of all the var usages. And then if the namespace is equal and the name is equal, then we decide to print, print it out. Okay, and um, so that's what you're seeing here, find var uh juxt in the source directory so maybe maybe i'm also using juxt in the test directory i'm not sure yeah ah, i am so let's let's go there yep that's right okay so this is very easy to find find vars especially when you want to remove them or rename them um and uh, so you can build all kinds of small scripts, small useful scripts that you put in your path that leverage the CLG condo pod to find things or print useful diagnostics. So um, in, in the CLG condo analysis, there are also some examples of what you can do with this analysis that's not built into CLG condo, but you can build your own tools with this. Um, so for example, you can list the unused vars or you can use, uh, you can list illegal access to private vars or you can make a namespace graph. So um, yeah, so you can go crazy from uh, using the Babeshka and uh, CLG Condo combination to build small utils that you can have available in your system in any project, basically. I, I hope this was useful and uh, see you next time.